like to welcome uh, Tony Berriant, and uh, she's with the Hearing Well Club, of course. And we were, we were just talking about somewhere down in Point Loma, down in the San Diego area. We're trying to figure out. Uh, her mom lives down there, and we had gone down there like, I don't know, a year and a half ago, and there was some place we went to, and we're trying to kind of figure out where it was. We've been working on that for We've been two working or three it months. out, but, but <laughs> we, we did. We figured it out. Great to have you here today. Thank Welcome. You. Good to be and, here. Um, you got a meeting coming up. It's next week. We so do. tell us about just, that. Just to talk a little bit about the last meeting. wasn't a meeting. It oh, was that's the right. Expo. It was the expo. And How did that go? It was fabulous. Got lots of good response from people who attended, and all the exhibitors were happy. That's important yes. because yeah. if we're going to do that again next year, we want to make sure they're happy. And so they thought it was well, very well worth it. So good uh, for everybody that showed up. Um, thank you for coming and. Hope you got a lot out of it. All right, and uh, next year you'll make it even bigger, right? <laughs> if, if, if we do it, I haven't decided yet. All right. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna consult with some of my um, board members and you know, we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, very it's good. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. So coming up next week, you yeah, have your well, we're uh, gonna meeting? Have, we're gonna have, um, you know, in the baseball world, they call it a double header. Yeah. So we're gonna have uh, two speakers. Um, Marcy Scheinwald is going to speak very briefly mm -hmm. um, about Laguna Woods Foundation. Okay. So the Laguna Woods <clears throat> Foundation approached me a couple months back and they said that on a case-by-case -case basis they could fund money for hearing assistive technology. Okay. So that could be hearing aids, it could be an accessory. Oh, very good. Because um, a lot of uh, hearing aids now will connect to TVs, connect right. to phones, whatever. So, um, so they, that is one area that they really haven't gotten into and they're willing to look at that and so she's going to come and explain to the members what the process is and what they would cover, that type of thing. So I'm really right. excited about that. Um, and then we're going to have uh, Penny Flaherty, she is at, she does the lip reading classes through the Saddleback Emeritus program. Oh, okay. At the uh, Senior Center. And so she's gonna come and give us a sample of what some of her classes, what the lip mm -hmm. reading instruction is. We're gonna talk about, um, you know, is it really beneficial? You know, everything is about communication access. And so when you can read lips, body language, take in you know, whatever you can in the absence of hearing, it's very helpful. So, yeah. so uh, lip reading is not the end all be all, but it, it can help, right. it can help. So to make you aware of this one sense that you can take advantage of to put all the pieces together in a conversation. <laughs> yes, I think that's true. You know who are very good lip readers? Which you, this may surprise you, animators. Animals? People who animators, people oh, who animators. do people do uh, the people who do feature films and because they have to know how to make the mouth movements of the characters. They do to 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 play true to they audiences. Do. They do. They yeah, do. it's true. Yeah, so um, I think it's uh, I've taken lip reading classes quite a bit. She does a little bit more than just lip reading. She almost does a support group. Mm -hmm. um, the people that attend. Uh, like to go back again and again and again. Right. So it's a very popular program. Um, she's going to be starting uh, some uh, sign language classes, which she does not do in the emeritus program. It's just uh, it's just her. She does it at the senior center. So she's going to talk a little bit about that. She's, yeah. It's sign exact sign. Uh, sign. <laughs> it's finger spelling, yeah, basically. Right, right, so she's yeah. going to talk a little bit about that. And um, the next emeritus program for the lip reading really doesn't start until the fall, which I think starts in August, the end okay. of August. Yes. But so anybody who's interested, now's the time to sign up because um, it fills up really fast. Okay. The fire marshal says only X amount of people can be in the room, and so that's the limitation. Yeah, that's very interesting uh, to make sure people get on board with this. Yeah. And uh, your meeting is next week, next a week from yes. today. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, for people to, to come there, they can just show up. And I know members are free, but you charge three dollars. Three dollars for non-members. Right. Guests. Okay. Anybody that's not a dues-paying member is a guest. Okay. Yeah. And I encourage people to go there because you'll you'll learn a lot. 
And even if you're not having problems right now, you know, the chances of one day you needing some sort of a hearing device, it's probably pretty high. You can't learn to swim when you're drowning. So right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's really a good idea, you know, even if you're thinking for a family member, you know, what, yeah. what's the experience like? I mean, a lot of people feel when they go to a hearing aid dispenser, an audiologist, that they're, they're meeting a car salesman, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and some providers are sort of that way. Yeah, right, so, right. <laughs> learned what to expect. Uh, that's what you're gonna, mm -hmm. when you come to my yeah. meetings. Um, I'm really big about talking about hearing loops. We're having more and more of them um, uh, installed okay. in the clubhouses. Now so, do even the latest and greatest hearing aids use hearing loops? Uh, well, they have telecoil. That's the, okay. you know, for, for the hearing loop needs to have something to connect to. So right. a little, little copper wire that's in the hearing aid. 80% of hearing aids have them. Okay. They just need to be programmed. And when you use it, you hear what's coming through the microphone intimately, right, it, right, right. in your hearing aid, right. using your prescription. So um, you, it really, really makes the sounds so much better. Because when I'm sitting in a big room, even in a room like this size, and somebody's on a microphone, and I just have my regular hearing aids, it's almost too much amplification. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, hearing aids are great, three to six feet, right. but beyond that, it's, there's the sound okay. uh, you know, yeah. disappears. So, um, so the hearing loops are phenomenal. That's, I just keep, that's, I wanna be known for being a hearing loop advocate. All right, <laughs> and um, thank you for coming on, and people can always go to your meetings and find out more, because the website is hearingwellclub.com. Very easy, from there you can get all kinds of information. Absolutely. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. You take care, bye-bye. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay.